a pressure test, second pressure test. Uh, fishing off, um, testing the uh, potential camera housings. The one on the left has failed already, just under normal pressure. It's had the uh, the dodgy end caps with the, the really rough um, o ring groove. The one on the right is the uh, 70 mil by 5. Uh, the one at the back there is the 2 inch compression fitting for medium density polyethylene water pipes. There's a bit of styrofoam at the bottom. So, see what happens. Um, so, I crank these nuts up with the uh, uh, impact wrench this time. Uh, seems to be a lot more convincing. It's really squashing the rubber down. So, hopefully, once we fire it up, it might get a bit more pressure before it starts to leak. Really glad I put the camera in a waterproof housing now. Really oaring it about. It was up here somewhere. So it might be up to 40. out the side. Maybe gone because this uh, dishing in the front here, obviously it's square cut acrylic and gone right at the corner where it touches here. So maybe if I just cut that corner off or, or round it out. Interesting. To account for the new dish, new shape of the front plate. Yeah, and this one. This one we can maybe um, just groove the O-rings like they did with the, uh, the front of the test chamber so that the O-ring sits on front of the uh, uh, on the front of the plumbing fitting and squash down with the pressure. That one? Solid. I don't see any major compromise in this one. This one, obviously it's failed before I'd finished filling it up. Probably just these really crap boring grooves, really rope in the valve tapes trying to pack. 
the map. Oh, I can make some more wheels. Three times this one. Need a better bung. Got some O-ring grooves in the face of this acrylic. So I've just taken this one apart, um, and I think this didn't actually fail. It maybe leaked a bit at first, and that's where the initial water came from. And it obviously popped out when the pressure was released on the outside, and the water had to rush out, and this just popped off. So I probably think that probably didn't, wasn't a major fail. And then I took it apart, you can just about see in there there's another O-ring. So these are two separate pieces cut from a 10mm chopping board. Um, with an O-ring seal in the middle and I think that's where it's gone this uh, middle piece must have just I guess been forced in with the pressure the pressure's already getting around the back of that and it's squished out that O-ring in there allowing the water to come in here and that's why it looks like it was coming in the hose you know that, the O-ring's squared out and so I guess thermal fusing of these two parts would allow me to still use chopping board without the risk of that happening. Yeah. So thermal fusion, I need to make a better lace setup. I'm thinking to use like pillow plot bearings on the ends of um, M8 rod, use the same diameter rod and then thermal fuse roughly the right size pieces together to form a inch or 20 mil possibly a thick disc of high density polyethylene and then just turn it down with a, a chisel or something force it together but between the pillow block layers it should hold it a bit more steady than just spinning it on the drill hmm. results I want to see this acrylic's pretty thick so it definitely survived 25 bar even though it's quite a large long piece would be longer than probably what we'd use in the rod Hmm. I'm seeing some new end caps coming on. Just to make them a bit new lace, closer tolerances, uh, thinner rings. And then do another test next week.